what's up guys and welcome to today's video so in this video i'm going to teach you how i was able to capture this move from this peak all the way down to this level where we are able to capture up to one is to six you understand in this pair uh, one is to six next to the word ratio so pay attention i'm going to walk you through step by step all these things i did to capture this move from here all the way down to this level so that you can be able to you know apply it if you also want to trade such a setup all right so let's jump into the video don't forget that i always start from the higher time frame so this pair i think i analyzed it last week this particular move i i started watching this move i was expecting this move for some time now so last no weekend on weekend all right so we are going to start this analysis from higher time frame so that you'll be able to know why i actually entered this market from there so I want you to pay attention. You know, a higher time frame here, which is very time frame, should be able to see that we are able to observe that this particular market, which is what uh, USDJPY, the market move from here. As you can see, that here is where we notice that the market is actually in what in an uptrend, but at some point it break this level. All right, so you can see this market break out of here. After the market have been moving up, then it break out of here. Come back to retest this region. You understand? Come back to here before this drop. So market was here when I started watching this particular move. All right. Then another thing I did is to also identify some key support and resistance level. If you take a look at it, you will see that we have something like support zone here. All right. So. There is another thing you can also do, you can also identify key resistance levels. As you can see here is a strong resistance level. Alright. Here we also have this particular one. Then then the last one here where we have this one here. So having identified this key level in what in, in daily time frame, then you can move down to four hours time frame. Alright. Make sure you are not confused with this analysis. So in this four hours time frame now. Here is where they actually, you know, start watching this setup. Whereby I pull out my trend line and connect here from this up all the way down to this level. All right. So bearing in mind that this place is a region where I'm paying attention to. So what I did, remember, I'm going to remove this one here because from the look of things, I'm not going to be needing it so that my chart will be clean. All right. I want my chart to be as clean as possible so that you don't get confused. So where I'm showing you why I entered the trade. So as you can see here, market come here. So from here is when I started monitoring this market. So when the market pushed to this level, I want you to notice that since I have identified here as my key area, you understand which is area of value. Then what I did is that I first go down to smaller time frame. But before then, let me just use this to mark this area so that you'll be able to know where we are expecting a setup all right then now i can be able to go to let's say i go to smaller time frame something like this then at this point now because i'm already seen here as a key level so what i did the first one the first trade that i enter is that i enter here i first connect this dot I draw this chart here, knowing that here is a key level where I'm expecting the market to, to reverse. So I connect this market like this. Then when I connect it like this, I also move down to 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, that is where I saw this move. So here. You notice that market break out of here so on this place i enter the market then take my profit around here because if you come to this junction if you come to one hour sorry i want you to pay attention you notice that market here here is a kind of resistance level you understand you see you see this junction is market here is a support level right so when i enter this market here i take my profit here as i take my profit here half of my profit i always say you should take half of your profit all right i'm coming to this particular move so i just want to tell you the first thing i did is that i enter my first trick here where my stop is here when market move from here to here then i was able to take my profit because here is a resistance a support level right then after i take my pro half of my profit no almost uh, 
almost almost one is to two. All right, that's what I take here. Then I break even on the other one. When market bounce back here, then it kicked me out. But I didn't lose any money on the second one. I take half of my position. So as I always advise. Then after this this happened, then the next thing I did is that okay, I last allow the market to you know play around for me to see what is happening. That is when I see this. I predicted this move. Not really that you know a kind of. Like I I I I did something magical. You understand? So just pay attention so that you understand what I'm saying. So after that, what the next thing I did, remember I have already established that here is a key, you know, resistant level in a higher time frame. Right? Then after taking the profit here, then what the next thing I did is that I, I then cool down to observe what is happening here. Then I noticed that in okay, let me try it in this time frame, which is what in one hour time frame. I then pick this and start I started drawing this edge to be able to identify key area. You understand? I connect this like this, then connect this one from here all the way down to this level. So after I connect this like this. Want you to pay attention so that you be able to see everything that I did and how I did it. If you understand how chart pattern work, you will notice that this is a, a more a symmetric uh, triangle. This is a symmetric triangle. It can break up or break down. But after I connect it like this, the next thing I do is that I notice that okay, the market break below here. You understand? As market break below here, then this market will push it up to this level. That is when. When I notice that this market break here, I don't own my existing volume. You understand? In this volume, I see I see that here this particular candle, this candle here, that the the volume is high. I notice that this volume is high. That is when I enter my trade at this point. Look at where because I was watching it like this at this point. At this point is where I was watching it. Then the next thing I did is that I take my position here. I take my position here. Then reference my stop loss just above here. This is where I place my stop loss. Then I started watching it just within few you know minutes that I placed there. The market drop. What caused this drop? The market to move on a normal market supposed to cool down. You know, just be moving down slowly because uh, it's actually supposed to go in my direction. But what caused this move is this. Uh, CPI when the news was released around 1:30 uh, Nigerian time. So when the news was released, then that is when this price shoot from here all the way down to this level. So I was able to capture my trade, but I didn't hold it to this level. So it's around here. This is where I take my profit. You understand? At this junction before market moves down to this level. All right? Because I noticed that here is also a resistance level, so I have to take my profit around here. So that's. Is how I was able to capture it. The news that was released was able to push the price just within few within few time. I just was able to, to grab this particular move. All right. So you can be able to apply it. But remember, if there is news coming, it can also be disastrous because this particular move does not obey stop loss. In some cases, most of the people who who who, who go against this move. As you can see, the majority of them, if you ask questions, you discover that their stop, stop loss was not triggered because this move was too fast, very fast. All right, it can also be dangerous. But the reason I trade it is because I always follow my trading plan, which is wherever my my chart is telling me to do, that's what I'm going to do. You understand? So in this case, you can see the news is in line with the direction of the market, and I was able to capitalize on this. Don't forget, if you find value in this. Always click the subscribe button. You understand? Just like the video and check the link in the description. You're going to see our Telegram channel. Join our Telegram channel so that you don't miss out on any of this. I, I do this analysis.